I'm gonna show you how to easily create this filmic glow or bloom effect in Premiere Pro. So here inside Premiere Pro, there's two different ways to create this effect for two different situations. So the first way is to start off by holding down Alt or Option on the keyboard and duplicating your clip and dragging it onto video layer number two. Then select that video clip on video layer number two. Go over here to the double arrows and go down to Effects and type in Gaussian Blur. Click and drag Gaussian Blur onto that second clip and then go up here and select effect controls and scroll down here to the Gaussian blur effect. Go ahead and increase the blurriness up to 55. Then go over here to opacity and change this to 30%. And that looks pretty good. And this method works great for this specific clip here because there's not a whole lot of detail in the background because it's basically all dark and it does a really good job of making those highlights glow. This next method gives you a lot more freedom to be creative with this effect and it allows you to make a lot more adjustments. So start off by duplicating the clip by clicking on it, holding down Alt or Option and dragging that clip onto video layer number two. Click on that second clip that we've put on video layer number two, go over to the Effects tab and type in Luma Key. Click and drag Luma Key onto that second clip. Then go ahead and turn off video layer number one by clicking this toggle track output button. Go up here to Effect Controls and go down here to the Luma Key effect. Start by increasing the cutoff. And as you can see, these little black areas on the screen are going to be the areas where the glow effect is not applied. Essentially, it's just creating a mask. So I'm gonna change this cutoff to about 50%. And you can also play around with the threshold here and adjust it to whatever you want to really dial in this effect. I'm good with the threshold being 100% for this clip, but you can just play around with that. Then go ahead and turn back on video layer number one. Go back over here to effects and type in Gaussian Blur. Click and drag Gaussian Blur onto that second clip. Scroll down here to the Gaussian Blur effect. Change the blurriness to 50. Make sure you have checked repeat edge pixels. And then bring down the opacity until you have the look that you're going for. I'm gonna turn this off and on. You can see that the highlights are the things that were targeted and it really makes this clip pop. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.